So first let's look at the observational types of data collection. The first is cross-sectional data collection and this is where we get a snapshot or survey. It is a one-time deal where we collect data to find out about things within a certain time, so to speak. So surveys are a good example and generally the way that we get cross-sectional data. Why are these attractive? Well, they're cheap and fairly easy. Um, they're very good for, dis to, for reporting descriptive frequencies, so such as prevalence rates. So for example, we could do a survey in terms of smoking and find out how many students smoke. You know, you could just do that, send a survey to every student on campus, and if they were to all respond, you would have a cross-sectional demographic of the prevalence of student smoking. So problem with cross-sectionals is that you can't tell if exposure versus outcome came first, so we can't use them to draw conclusions. So if you do a survey, you have information about the person at that moment in time, at the moment that they completed the survey, but you don't know what came before and you don't know what came after. So you really can't draw conclusions with regards to um, cause and effect. So, but at best we can use them to form associations. So like group associations, cross-sectional data is often done because it's easy to do in terms of surveys and also it can give us more clues about certain associations that we can then drill down to find out what's going on. So here's an example. Uh, these young ladies are going door to door to find out people's perceptions about a certain issue, health issue, and this would be considered a cross-sectional data collection.